Hello everyone, and welcome to Hylian Gamecast, episode 79. I'm Chublima, and today we're going to be discussing some exciting news. This comes from The Verge, and it is about Cuphead coming to Nintendo Switch with Xbox Live support coming. Yet another big indie game is on its way to the Nintendo Switch. It's time. It's the brutally hard Cuphead. The run-and-gun platform game first launched back in 2017 as a Microsoft exclusive, debuting on both the Xbox One and PC. During the announcement, not today, Nintendo specifically called out our friends at Microsoft for making the port possible. While it's arriving late, Cuphead's retro style seems to be an ideal fit for Nintendo's tablet. Tablet? Uh, particularly the painstakingly hand-drawn 1930s style art. Even more interesting, Microsoft says that Xbox Live support is coming to the Switch version. We'll be working with Studio MDHR to implement Xbox Live features into Cuphead on the Nintendo Switch in the coming months, the company said in a post on the Xbox Wire. And this news comes less uh, less than a week after Xbox Live support came to mobile. And you guys can expect Cuphead to come to the Nintendo Switch on April 18th. Ten days after my birthday. Woo! Have you guys noticed that the um, Cuphead characters match the Joy-Cons with their colors? Oh, they do. I'm just saying, red and blue are probably not that, ex- like, uh, it's pretty generic, the colors, so probably coincidence, but I still like it. <laughs> yeah, so. I, I wonder, is this game, oh. is this online multiplayer? It probably will be. Mm. Mm. Well, it has local but co-op. Nintendo um, but yeah. still likes their local. So yeah. it will probably still be local. Know. So, Luke, I'm going to take everything that I just said back in the chat. We're not going to stream this together because it, not, Nintendo probably won't let us. <laughs> you can come to my place and stream in the comfort of my home. Yeah. You can sit right here. Mm-hmm. Or if you show this up corner to of the bed is for you. So with the uh, yes. this like the it, it's just interesting because they Okay, so how did this all start like Xbox or Microsoft they had that thing to where they were just like we're going to bring Xbox Live to like this and this and this and this and one of the things was Nintendo mm. Switch. Yeah. Yeah, but there was a thing and like they, a description of their upcoming panel for GDC at that time. Where it was like, we're going to be talking about Xbox Live. And then just, yeah, that was the blurb. It was like, coming soon to PC, smartphones, and Nintendo Switch. And then they redacted it. And they were like, two other, we're just expanding it. <laughs> <laughs> That's all we said, I swear. Yeah. <laughs> so, and yeah. I, I guess this is the first game coming to Xbox. Or not, X, it's already on Xbox. The first game coming to <laughs> Nintendo uh, mm-hmm. that was Xbox. And like, they already had the thing to where... Minecraft? Well, yeah, but by Xbox? well, Minecraft's already on like everything. You could play that yeah. game on a shoe if you wanted to. So. <laughs> yeah, Minecraft is everywhere. <laughs> the... My, Minecraft is as ubiquitous on gaming devices as Fortnite is. So yeah, you can probably and... play it on the smart fridge. Yeah, on your yeah. Alexa. Or on Alexa. <laughs> <laughs> so... They even have like the tuned down version of Minecraft for devices that aren't capable of running actual Minecraft, like Minecraft Lite or something like that. I just got to think about it. This is just a completely unrelated side note, but since Alexa came up, I gotta just tell you this quick story and hope I don't get in trouble for telling you this, but I was at work the other day and someone called in and um, I'm like, hello, you know, normal blurb. And all I hear is them just yell, Alexa, turn off! <laughs> I'm like super angry. Ooh. I'm like, uh, <laughs> that's all. I just had to share oh that. Oh my gosh, <laughs> I love it. Oh. Just, just have to share that. Thanks, Alexa. Yeah. Thank you. Alexa probably did something nice for you. <laughs> so uh, another thing that I, I want to oh. mention with this is when we were at E3, we heard the uh, on the GameSpot stage. They asked the president of Xbox Live uh, which Xbox character he would like to see come to Smash Bros., and while most people would say Banjo Kazooie, he said Master Chief. So, 
Do you guys think that because of this weird little thing between Nintendo and Xbox, because, you know, there's no way that Nintendo and Xbox would ever work together on anything. Mm -hmm. Um, But if they were, you know, like if uh, some of their exclusive games just happen to end up on the Nintendo system, like Cuphead, or if Xbox Live for some reason decided to come over to work on Nintendo Switch... I'm not saying that it ever will, because from what everyone tells me, it'll never happen. But Mm -hmm. if it were to happen, (laughs) um, what characters or what games would you realistically think would be coming over after this Cuphead games? Like if Cuphead comes out, not saying it will, but if it does and it's a huge success, you know, because it's already number three on the eShop for like the most popular games or whatever and that's just from pre-orders so mm-hmm. uh but if it does come out and if it is successful what other xbox games would you like to see come out um and you cannot say um minecraft no no the rare <laughs> the rare pack banjo kazooie the rare no rare re- rare, rare rewind replace yeah rewind. Mm-hmm. is that it? yeah mm-hmm. i said rewind rare replace that's it sorry that's it because it's mm-hmm. like 30 games in one Big oof. Uh, first off, I would like to yell at both Axel the Beast and Hylian Luke for both saying that they wanted Master Chief and um, I almost said Shrek because I just read it, but <laughs> <Shrek>. <laughs> Super Smash. Might as I'm well. very unimpressed. Both of you. Both of you go to your rooms and think about what you've done. <laughs> for real. <laughs> well, maybe though, Sad. because I mean, Sakurai said in when he was making the first Smash Bros game, he wanted to put James Bond in it. Uh, so if he can envision in his head a workable moveset for James Bond, <laughs> well, I mean, why not Master Chief, I guess? I mean, he, they made Snake. So I feel like, work. yeah, exactly. But, I mean, like, I felt like both of those are a stretch, but, I mean, it could happen, you know? <laughs> we yeah. don't know. But they put a potted plant <laughs> in the game. Um, Piranha Plant is great. I love him. So I don't know. It could it could happen, but what I realistically I, I hijacked this. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, no. Like good going. Grand... I don't even know what games Microsoft even did. But like mm. Minecraft, yes. <laughs> Cuphead, <laughs> and Halo, yeah, what, and... and Halo, and that's their ex- those are their exclusives. <laughs> that's it. Okay, so I googled it. We can do the uh, Microsoft Solitaire Collection. Oh, yeah. <laughs> nice. I'm so sorry. No, like, there there are some cool Xbox games, though. Like, I, I wanted to get... Um, I don't like... Okay, so going back to what Daniel was talking about. So if we go back to when they were originally making Smash Bros. Mm-hmm. Microsoft didn't get um, Rare until like the GameCube was about to come out or whatever. And so why wasn't Banjo ever considered for Smash Bros? Because they hate us. Yeah, because like now, I mean, it's obvious why it wasn't in like Brawl or the Wii U because he's, you know... Microsoft character now, but at the time it's like he wasn't even thought of for the original. It's like, well, that's okay because there was only like so many characters in that. But then with Melee, it's like he wasn't even considered for that. It's just odd. I don't know. Like, well, part of me thinks that it, it probably they wanted to get characters that they didn't have to fight for a license for, right? So, like, all of those characters in Smash in the original. Or like holding Nintendo's license, whereas Rare, I think, owned the rights to the Banjo Kazooie characters, even if it was licensed by Nintendo, right? Yeah. Another thought: Banjo Kazooie was released in 1998. Smash Bros came out in 1999, so it's mm. possible that Sakurai planned the roster and was doing development and stuff, and didn't play Banjo Kazooie when he was working on this game. Possible. So, I would also like to point out, totally unrelated, Fable Thunder said uh, Chubby for Smash, so... Chubby? 
Do I'm it. Offic- I'm officially in the game. Nice. Yes, and that painting's an alt skin. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> but like, not not how she looks in the painting, but just the painting <laughs> itself. <laughs> nice. <laughs> we just. Okay, so, uh, with Xbox games that I would like to play on the Switch, if it was possible, I would like to see Sunset Overdrive, which I think would be possible, um, just like lower resolution and everything, and uh, then we have ReCore, which was actually made by the original creator of um, the Mega Man series who also worked on the Oracle games and Minish Cap and stuff. So Hmm. I would like to see that game and then a small indie game that I know could run on it, which I I don't know if it's an indie game, but Ori in the Blind Forest would be really cool. Oh, I love Ori in the Blind Forest. That game's so good. That's the first game I ever tried to stream. Nice. Nice. Hmm. Um, I would like to see Fable. Is Fable Xbox exclusive? I think so. It is. Or like Microsoft. Because uh, it's on PC, I, oh. but... Yeah, it's on PC. Like, Microsoft has Steam. that weird thing, though. But I have it all on Xbox. Okay. Because I know I had the first... The first one would have been on Xbox no. One. Or no, sorry. <laughs> Xbox One. The... Oh, no, it's Fable Xbox. 2 on 360, I'm pretty yeah, sure. Yeah, Fable 2 is on 360. And they were making. I never finished it. <laughs> they were making a new just... one for Xbox One that was like a free to play thing, and then they just canceled it, and it made me That's sad. That's good. Oh. That would have been terrible. It's going to be a pretty unpopular opinion here, but I didn't finish Fable 2 because I kind of found it boring. <gasps> I tried Fable 3, and I didn't finish it. I think it was the one where it's like set in like the king and queen type thing, where like you play as a king or a prince or something like that. Honestly, it is a really boring game. I don't know what it is about Fable that I like, though. The first one was cool. I, I, you know, and it was not like anything that I didn't like in particular. It's not like I was like, this is poor design and this is bad and I hate this part. I just like so just just it drags on. Yeah. Yeah, and I just I don't know. I really wanted to like it (laughs) because I had heard so much good about it. Yeah. I don't know. I'm a bad. I'm a sorry. I'm a sorry. I'm a sorry, Green Mario. All right. Um. So, can you guys? Uh, wait, did everyone already answer? Mm, Daniel didn't. Mm, see, I don't know what what games are. I don't know. Like, I think it would be really neat to have. Um, I, I think that. There's a generation of gamers that are uh, on the Switch that fell off of the Nintendo wagon and are finally back on board. They're finally here performing for you. Um, so if you know the words, no, wait. <laughs> uh, but that that probably fell off the Nintendo wagon after the N64 or the GameCube and moved to other consoles because they were in their teen years and wanted to prove how mature they were as gamers, right? You know? And then now they're back to being Nintendo fans with the Switch because people are like that. And I think a game that might capitalize on that, you, I I think would be really neat to bring Halo 1, 2, and 3 Trilogy Pack. The Master Chief Collection. Put them on there. Yeah, there you go. And just pop them on Switch there. And just, you don't really have to do all that much with it. Just upscale the resolutions and all that. And honestly... There you go. I never actually played Halo 3, just 1 and 2. Um, I never fell off the Nintendo wagon, though, but we had an Xbox and an Xbox 360. And I don't know what happened to that Xbox, but I do still have an Xbox 360. But poor, dusty Xbox 360. But um, yeah, I remember Halo 1 was actually my favorite. I really loved Halo 2, but... I actually really preferred the first one. I think there was a bit of charm that was maybe uh, absent from Halo 2 that was in the first one, but um, oh well. I don't know. I just it, people would. I think that's like that's a little trilogy pack. That's a nice little throwback uh, that would be nostalgic for a lot of people and would probably make a lot of money. So, 
that's that's all I got, guys. Yeah. I so I banned the rare replay collection because I think that would just be the perfect solution because you get all of oh, the absolutely. Super Nintendo and, and 64 games that everyone liked. Um, like everyone's been wanting Banjo, but I think the smarter thing to do for them would be to release them separately instead of as the pack. That way you could get like $10 for Banjo and Banjo Kazooie or Banjo Tooie instead of giving them away with all the other games but yeah anyways um so kind of going on to the topic we had earlier with uh like an indie crossover or whatever if nintendo and xbox decided to partner on some sort of game where they were like well we're not making uh this right now or we're not working on this what game would you like to see Xbox kind of do their own spin on? Like, uh, mm. everyone used to compare Halo and Metroid when Metroid originally came out, or Halo. Not when Metroid originally no. came out. In the- <laughs> I meant Metroid Prime. You mean the other way around, right? <laughs> well, I was meaning when Metroid Prime first came out. Actually, though, I can see the comparison for the first Halo game, and maybe that's why, as a Metroid fan, I really the first Halo game and not so much the sequels because in the first Halo game not unlike Metroid you're like first of all you start the game with an escape sequence not unlike Super Metroid and Metroid Prime and then you're thrown onto an unknown planet with a bunch of alien hostiles alone and then you're working through this cave uh, cave systems and things like that alone and then uh, there's you know there's there's bits and of, of like other characters that pop up here and there but nowhere near to the extent of later games and then you find this extremely powerful hostile race that are not metroids i assure you um they're what are they called the flood in halo well of course but they're like, not metroids you play as metroid not. right it's my bad <laughs> um but yeah no it's just um thematically there's a lot of very similar beats that the first halo game hits Similarly to a lot of Metroid um, that are very like Metroid style beats. Now the gameplay is very different because it's basically a twitchy action shooter. Um, whereas Metroid is a far more slower, more methodical game. And not saying that either one is necessarily or that that Halo's bad by any way, by any stretch, by the way. But I can I can definitely see in hindsight how that comparison would be made because of those uh there's a lot of just story beats and stuff that really match up. Um so there you go, guys. Gaming 101 with Daniel. I should teach a class on this. No one would take my class, though. A lot of people would take your class. You have no idea that, like, there's people that go to conventions that have no idea what the conferences are for. They just go to it because they're already paying to be at the convention. So they're just like, well, I'll go to this thing. I don't know what it is. I don't know who's talking, but I paid, so why not? Fair enough. <laughs> Yeah. So, <laughs> uh, yes. And then I found I, maybe that's why when I played Halo Two, I was just like, uh, just just a bit of the soul of the first game that's missing here. Mm-hmm. I found, you know. Yeah. But I, I like those isolationism games where you're just thrown in your one person against the odds of the world, you know. So would you take a Halo Metroid crossover? In the vein no. of uh, the Ubisoft <laughs> Nintendo crossover, or the um, uh, what was it? Star? Are you talking about Starlink? Or no, like there's the, like there's Mario and Rabbids, just... and then there's the Starlink thing. But I was trying to think of uh, Hyrule Warriors. Where like there's tons of third parties that Nintendo have like crossed oh, yeah. their games with. There's... So like, what would yours be the, with Xbox? The, the frankly the biggest obstacle for me to accept. Metroid and Halo existing in the same universe is that both have conflicting ideas of what like um, I don't remember what they're called in Halo's universe but the Galactic Federation Mm -hmm. that basically the human military essentially of those universes uh, would not coexist and they uh, they're both kind of presented 
initially as good guys and then you see the shade side to them, which I like that that's the case in both. But then in, in Halo, they are generally more just like, oh, we're the heroic action guys. Like, just very, I don't know, it's very uh, American action film. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, so it's it. I don't see those two being in. I couldn't. I don't think I could accept those being in the same universe because of that. Whereas the the Metroid Galactic Federation are like, hey, we're so the good guys, and then they're like, yeah, we're secretly breeding Metroids. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Wait, there's so, more than one orange suit person. How do they breed Metroids? <laughs> no, no. Sorry, sorry. I forgot. And, and I forgot. No. And, and Metroid Two, there's the black Metroid. I don't know what to say. <laughs> is it is it not the Black Metroid? Is that not Metroid Two Echoes? Uh... Or is it is it Shadow Metroid? Is that it? Because Shadow Link, Dark Link, Dark Metroid. Mm, that's the one. Okay. Yeah. Sorry. But I can't believe you didn't know, man. Metroid's a Metroid's a cyborg man. What? He's a cyborg man in a robot suit. Yeah, because like you know, yeah. Metroid and Mega Man. <laughs> it's like it's, it's the blue Metroid, the cousins. <laughs> yep, exactly. This conversation is right here. I'm like all the way <laughs> over there. Yeah. No, it's it's like I was watching the Titans. I was, I was watching uh, no, not Titans. Uh, they're talking about Titans in the thing. It's related to it. It's um, Doom Patrol. I was watching Doom Patrol, and uh, Cyborg is in it like teenage cyborg and he has his blaster arm cannon thing mm. so it's like he oh, he's mega man yeah it's it's basically like <laughs> a silver Met- metroid mega man like there's blue mega man there's orange mega man and then there's the silver mega man <laughs> this makes perfect don't forget about the gold mega man amiibo who's the gold what why would there be a there's gold like, mega man there's a gold mega man amiibo yeah but that's just an amiibo yeah, but that's still that's golden. Yeah. Okay. Mega okay. Man. All right, but Daniel, what what is your Microsoft Xbox? Oh, Nintendo right. We crossover? had a subject to discuss here, didn't yeah. we? Since, yeah, since, what it, a weird since it's question. not Halo and Metroid, what is your crossover? It's not. Yeah, it's not Halo Metroid, but uh, oh lordy, oh lordy, oh lordy, oh lordy, oh, he coming. Ah. Uh, Just put Minecraft guy Steve <laughs> in Super Mario Maker. What? Really? <laughs> that's, that, it? that's it. <laughs> you, you wouldn't even. Well, like... they already put Mario <laughs> in Minecraft. Okay, so here's how so about this? We'll just take it the other way. What about like? I don't know who would how it would work, but like Banjo was basically like. If you wanted to play a Nintendo 64 platformer but didn't want to play Mario, then you would play uh, Banjo. I almost said Metroid. Uh, Metroid's not a a platformer at all. It's a first-person shooter. Sorry. (laughs) (laughs) Am I killing you on the inside, Dan? (laughs) Brutally. (laughs) So if you wanted to play uh, a platformer, like... Would would is there a situation to where like Nintendo and Xbox could work together on like a Banjo Mario crossover or put no what they should do is Banjo and Donkey Kong Country. Mm. Yeah, ah! you're so smart. Banjo was already in Diddy Kong Race, but then like basically yeah. <laughs> would would Nintendo make it or would Xbox make it? Because would it be like retro or would it be rare? Like would retro get mad and be like, "How dare you take our don't, don't infringe?" Paycheck? Well, retro's now working on Metro Prime Four. Oh yeah, because the other so studio was incapable. They couldn't. They couldn't do it. <laughs> so, I feel like if you the problem with putting it back in the hands of Rare itself is, is that Rare as we know it today is not the rare that made Donkey Kong Country and Banjo Kazooie. Yeah, the like that team is now Platonic Games, basically. They, they got all of so, the uh, 
all of the people that worked on the Connect games are that's rare now. Yeah, and and for example, the composer for the original Donkey Kong Country, David Wise, ended up working with Retro on Tropical Freeze, anyways, right? Mm -hmm. So, like, we already see shades of that sort of development crossover. So, I I feel like (gasps) it could work, though. I feel like those universes meld together really nicely. Although, I guess Donkey Kong is is in the Mario universe, too, but... I. um, I almost said Diddy Kong mm-hmm. Racing, because that had like a mix of like Rare and Nintendo characters, but I don't think I would mm-hmm. want that. Axel's but already suggested Axel it anyways. Says, yeah, what about a new Diddy Kong Racing? Uh-huh. You know what? Yeah, yeah, I'm on board. I I always liked Mario Kart more than Diddy Kong Racing, Mar- though. Yeah, hard agree. Very hard agree. <laughs> Like, mm-hmm. the, the tracks, no the weapons, everything, the characters were better in Mario Kart, but I like the um, mm-hmm. almost like adventure the... style of Diddy Kong. Yes, and I like that Diddy Kong Racing had more vehicles and stuff, but then we've got, like, the track flipping stuff in Mario Kart 8 now, so it's moot at this point. Yeah, yeah. but I, I, I agree with uh, Daniel's uh, correction of what I had mentioned, that I... I really liked the Donkey Kong banjo idea because they were kind of so similar anyways. Yeah, well, like you played DK64 and Banjo-Kazooie and... And then they could make another no. rap. No. <laughs> yes! But would well, Banjo be in the rap? No. I think it's like, like that might feel like almost like pandering or trying too hard. No, you like know? It, it would be like it's... Instead of saying like, what does it say? It's it's the DK crew. Yeah. Right. So instead of being like it's the DK crew, they could be like it's DK and Banjo too. Hmm. Hmm. All right, Jesse, time to write the rap. We will do the voice (laughs) for it. We we will do the rap. And then we'll send it to Sexy Mac to to sing. (laughs) He actually does a very good impression of the DK rap. I don't know what he does not do a good impression of. I've yet to find one. Sexy Mac is the sexiest Uh, of us. We we played uh, Fortnite last night and lost like seven times in a row. Oh no. (laughs) It will? Yeah. Every every time I've like made a joke and he's done an an impression of any kind or or even sometimes I've been like do this voice and he just does it on the fly And, and honestly there's no impression that he cannot do amazingly that i have found yet it's just magnificent nice. <laughs> i know he's the ideal yes. 18 year old he is <laughs> you know and i wish that i was uh that cool when i was 18 right but, uh yeah troops who is your your crossover like I, I would default to zelda because i just like zelda but i don't know if i would want any of the xbox companies working on zelda that's just it I don't trust the Xbox companies to do a good job yeah. on things I I don't want to put any of that in their hands oh I got an idea alright I thought of okay so there is the Minecraft ripoff from Square I think Dragon Quest Builders yeah yeah. Okay. Um, and he I feel like someone's gonna get really mad about you saying that's a Minecraft. He, well, he's he's basically dressed <laughs> like the main character is basically dressed like a blue Link. So if Nintendo and um, oh, I forgot the name of the development team, but if Xbox and Nintendo could somehow make a Zelda Minecraft crossover, I think that would be cool. Mojang, yes, thank you, Scorch. I think that uh, would be cool. Easy, you just reskin yourself as a character from Legend of Zelda. I'm already Chewbacca in Minecraft. Why can't you be lo- well, they, from Pennsylvania? So like, yeah. Okay, but like they would have um, like when you start in the overworld itself to like go around and start building and stuff. It would be kind of like a mix of the Minecraft story mode to where like there's an actual story to it. Oh, I forgot and then there was a Minecraft story mode. Have it be like. Uh, um, like a huge high roll that you can just 
kind of build or destroy or whatever. So um, does Patton Oswalt get to voice Link? I <laughs> is that who does it? I don't know who that is. I, I don't know if he, I'm pretty sure he's in. Maybe not in the game. I know there's a Minecraft story mode thing with Netflix. My kid watched oh. one time, and I'm like, is that Patton Oswalt voice? Who's Patton <laughs> Oswalt? Can we That's get him so on the funny. podcast? He's Ratatouille, man. He's what? He's that actor. He's in like a lot of stuff, but he's got such a distinct voice. Um, he's also like the firefighter chief in Brooklyn, Nine, the fire marshal guy. Oh yeah, and and yeah, he does the voice in Ratatouille for a character whose name escapes me, and I know it's not Ratatouille. Um, but, um, yeah, Pat Oswalt. He's a, he's a very funny actor. Hmm. No, but, uh, he's got. I wish can he voice Link. He's got like just four million. Be, followers there's no but way it would just help. be area because just imagine that the first time link is voiced with dialogue and just imagine Patton Oswalt voice and how how angry everyone would be Good. Well, maybe they would be like you and just love it Uh, I, I love you're the worse than, You're worse than people that wanted Danny DeVito to voice Pikachu. <laughs> no, but then they, they had the article thing to where, like, they said Danny DeVito, like, he actually went to, like, do the test oh. thing for it, but they just didn't go with him. You realized how creepy and weird it was? Yeah. That's, it's hilarious. I have a, I love Danny DeVito for all, probably all the wrong reasons, but... Yeah. Uh, so, <laughs> Jubes, do you do you have any any crazy thoughts on Xbox, Nintendo? And oh, that's that. <laughs> right. No. So I forgot we were talking about um, Fable earlier. I think a Fable style Zelda game would be cool as well. See, I was gonna say that, but oh, I'm sorry. I'll so leave. you want to make Zelda boring? <laughs> no, it, it would be interesting Sorry. because like you you already have a connection with the the world and the characters. It wouldn't just be like here's this random guy from the So would Link turn into a big devil man if he does bad thing? Maybe. Maybe it's like you get closer to being Dark Link and then you get to the end of Fable 2 and suddenly Link is big, fat, and bald, but you know it's Link because he has elf ear. <laughs> well, Link... It's a perfect plan. The, there's there's always an old man. Who's to say there can't be an old man Link? So what if you do a Mario-style Fable game and you can play as either Mario or Luigi? And, uh, <laughs> and you turn the more into you, stuff you get, you turn into war. <laughs> Mm -mm. Well, Luigi. No. <laughs> Luigi's you play Mario. as Mario and your companion dog, Luigi. Oh my god. <laughs> your companion dog is Luigi. <laughs> what did Luigi do <laughs> to deserve that? Forget the farm of Yoshi's. <laughs> you have a pet Luigi. Oh no. You know what? Yoshi was a totally good idea, and I'm so sorry <laughs> I didn't drink to that. <laughs> <laughs> Why couldn't it have been Yoshi? It's like, um, oh my goodness, it's, it's one of those things that's like the, I didn't even think of that moment. Um, oh no. Poor Luigi. <laughs> Poor Lu Luigi would take a bullet for Mario though, so it's fine. Would he? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, uh, Jesse, can we move on? Yeah, this the uh, top <laughs> This has been spiraling for like half an hour of us basically all wanting to blow our brains out simultaneously. Hey everyone, it's me again, Elia Rose. I just wanted to say thank you so much for watching this video. And you know what? If you're a fan of videos like this, you should totally subscribe and give this video a like and comment below to let us know what type of videos you would like to see us create in the future. And if you would really like to support all of us here at the Game Over Jesse channel, please consider purchasing a Game Over Jesse t-shirt or becoming a Patreon at patreon.com slash gameoverjesse, where you can receive many rewards, such as getting shoutouts, having any topic or theory that you select discussed on the podcast or made into its own video, having your question answered, joining on as a guest on the podcast, and playing with us during our Twitch live streams at twitch.tv slash gameoverjesse. And 
much, much more.